in this video we're going to go from a 3D scan of a head and then do some magic and get a character based off our 3D scan. Now this is my son and this is what the original scan looked like. You can see it's very jagged. So let's go ahead and first let me share how I cleaned this up. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. Let's go into wireframe mode, press C and then I'm just going to select everything I don't want and then we're just going to go delete vertices. From here I'm going to select the main head mesh and control L. Control I to invert the selection and delete all those hanging bits. So now when we look at it, this is all we left with. Still though, it looks rough as guts. Now, what I can do is object mode. Let's go into sculpt. Now there's an icon over here on the left called smooth. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of like, just smooth out that mesh a little bit. Just try and get rid of all those jagged pieces. And you can see just by doing this little step, it's improved the model quality dramatically. Now I don't want to deform the mesh too much. And that looks pretty good. Uh, let me just do a little bit here, a little bit there. Perfect. We've uh, got a head. So let's now select our mesh. I am fairly happy with that. Let's now go file export as an FBX. Now into Character Creator 4, I'm going to use Headshot V2. File, import, import. Let's find our model V2, open. Now I'm gonna bring it in as a prop. And there's our wonderful head. And that's looking pretty good. From here, I wanna click on the mesh and we're gonna start head generation. Mm, I think we could have probably maybe cleaned up the mesh a little bit more, but I think we're okay. What we need to do now is match these points. Now, the point of that is, is because these, this mesh is going to be recreated, which means we're going to add shape keys instantly to our mesh. My goodness. So let's kind of go through the process. Uh, one, two, probably about there, three, four, five, and six. And then obviously we can readjust later. Let's bring that in. Um, I believe we've got seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now it's just gonna be a very much a finicky game of just trying to match it up as nicely as possible. Uh, we've got 15, 16, you make 17, you make 18 and then we've got a 19 on that point now around the mouth uh -oh. oops let's just uh move these around 20 will go here 21 goes about here and this would be 22 23 and 24 nice and so as we look around we can kind of see how these are lining up and now the beauty of it is is if you want the cleanest result as possible let's just start adding in more of these uh selections so for instance we could work a little bit more around the mouth so probably about there that one will go there that one will go here spend some time on this point you're in no rush just kind of yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. I'm now gonna go into head generation and that's that's looking pretty good. You know, if we actually compare it to the model, we can see how this eye is a little bit more stretched, which is fine. The mouth here isn't overlapping, so that's looking pretty good. Now, I'm more focused on this area of the face, so I wanna select this mask. Uh, we've got a bit of yuckiness up here, but that's gonna blend in with the mesh skin. But other than that, that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and now refine the mesh up the top. And so what that's now created is a mesh for our character to kind of shrink wrap onto. So if we have a look, that's looking pretty good. I just want to have a look at the lips. I think this red line here is the inside of our lips. 
So I'm just going to kind of try and bring it down. I think that uh, the radius is a little bit too big. Just going to bring that down. But other than that, that's looking pretty good to me. We've got opacity up the top here. It seems to be lining up quite nice. This bit here looks a little bit off. Just moving it around a little bit. Once again, you're in no rush. Just take your time. Try and get it as nice as possible. But that is predominantly the way we want. I'm now going to an attach to a body. It's a male, no mask. Projection from image. I'm going to import our image. I don't have a normal mesh, so we're just going to use the source material. And so that's why that smoothing process was very important. And then from here, let's just, uh, let's just go generate. And I mean, you can see the resemblance. We've got some teeth protruding. That's fine. We can clean that up. So if I bring that over, let's go into edit mesh. Oops. Let's select the person and then go into edit mesh. I want to do soft selection. And then when I click the skin here, that's a, that's a little bit too big there. Let's bring that radius down. W. I'm just going to move that forward a bit. Just seem to have a bit of an overbite at the moment. That's fine. We'll fix that up. Select down low. And we'll bring that out. How is that looking now? Let's go into edit mesh. That's looking not too bad. I think the mouth is a little bit small, but this is where we can now come in. And because this character is now set up within Character Creator 4, we've got all our modifiers in place. So for instance, the mouth, mouth scale, I can scale it up a little bit. Let's go maybe mouth width. That nose is matching quite nice. The eyebrows is not too bad. We can see our chin here is a little bit off. But you have to remember that this is all part of the 3D scan. I know he's got a little bit more of a chin than that. Uh, so let's go chin. It's not too bad. It's, uh, it's a little bit weird. I can tell you that much working on his head. Uh, let's go into content. Let's jump into hair, hairstyles. Sorry, hair groups, hair. Let's give him this one. I know his forehead's not that big. Forehead height. We'll bring it back down a little bit. It's not bad. Let's give him some eyebrows. I do think he's got a bit more of a slimmer head though. So let's go into the head in general. Oh yeah. Much better. Let's uh, let's just throw some clothes on him. Cool. Now let's uh, let's scale him down a little bit. Down the bottom here, I've got a little bit of a baby thing. So let's bring him down. Need to make him thinner now. And there's a body thin. And uh, there we have it. I think I could probably do a little bit more work and bring in these cheeks in here. And I think his head's a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, after a little bit more editing, we're now at that point where I've taken a 3D scan and applied it to a character. I think I probably, yeah, definitely a little bit more work on the cheeks. Um, but that's, that's kind of cool.